Hello and good afternoon, or should I say good evening, excuse me. Today is October 22nd, 2019, the time is now 7.23 p.m. And this video is going to be entitled, Behavior Specialist. So I apparently got, or should I say I called, the Behavioral Health Helpline a few weeks ago. I think it was like three weeks now. And basically, they wanted me to respond to this letter. And they wanted me to come in to see a specialist for checking on my mental health. I've already done this before with another group, the Eastwood Clinic, the Eastwood Clinic group, and I think they insulted my intelligence. I really did not appreciate that. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to write this letter out to them, or should I say, I'm gonna make this video instead. So this is what I have to uh, do right now because I don't think they're going to get it. They do not have authority and they do not have jurisdiction over 10 square miles outside of Washington DC in the District of Columbia. Them trying to exercise their authority anywhere else outside of the 10 square miles out of Washington DC, whether they knew or unknowingly knew, they do not have jurisdiction over me. They claim to have jurisdiction over me through this silly little piece of paper when in reality you do not have any. So as far as I'm concerned, These people are committing fraud and deception within the United States of America. So this is what I'm about to do next. Okay, I'm going to write this out. Okay, as you can see, I've clearly wrote down what they are doing, and I know exactly what they're doing. Oh, I forgot one more thing. That's just some of the things that they're doing in this facility. They're depriving me under my rights under color of law of 1983 and they're conspiring uh, they're conspiring against my rights as well the reason why I say this is for one thing they cannot operate without 10 square miles outside of Washington DC so this is what I'm about to do next and this is what I think of your mental health facilities okay you don't have authority and you don't have jurisdiction See this? Guess what happens next? As you can see, I can care less about how they feel. Relax, I'm not going to burn down my apartment. I just wanted to show you exactly what happens where you think you have authority and jurisdiction over people when in reality you don't. Take back the fucking land and I'll respect your fucking authority. Until then, fuck off. That's all I got to say for today, guys. Like, share, and subscribe for more content.